Happy Friday, everybody. It's hashtag FAQ Friday live from my office. My goodness, what a week it's been this week. Let's just talk about the budget first of all. So um, the Chancellor announced a business rates discount for the hospitality sector and as well as uh, plans to reform uh, alcohol duty as part of the 2021 autumn budget. So let me just explain uh, some of these elements in the budget. Um, it's going to be a year long 50% business rates discount will be available for the retail, hospitality and leisure sectors. Eligible businesses will be able to claim a discount on their bills of up to of 50% to a maximum of £110,000, which is a welcome relief to the hospitality industry. Um, obviously, we've got to pay the money back at some point to all, you know, some point soon um, when you look at the amount of uh, borrowed money, but also reliefs that we've had throughout the whole of the pandemic. So um, this is a welcome uh, introduction to to that. Um, it's also been that uh, there will be uh, confirmed plans to introduce more frequent re-evaluations every three years uh, from 2023, as well as new investment relief to encourage encourage businesses to adopt green technologies. Uh, like solar panels and business rates involve improvement relief. That is becoming a big thing at the moment. There is lots coming through all the different Chamber of Commerce, uh, the local enterprise partnerships throughout the whole of the UK at the moment. Uh, and they are definitely looking for new technologies uh, to be improved for businesses. Um, so it will mean that from 2023, every business making property improvements, for example, hotel adding extra rooms, uh, will pay no extra business rates for 12 months, which is a cracking, a cracking welcome relief. Um, obviously, the, there was a planned increase uh, in duty on spirits, for example, scotch whiskey, wine, cider and beer. Um, but the Chancellor has announced a reform of alcohol duty, a system uh, that he felt uh, he described as outdated uh, and complex. So what it all includes now is stronger bit drinks will pay higher uh, tax rates, uh, while weaker drinks will pay lower tax rates, uh, which is expected to lower drinks duty on drinks like rosé wines, fruit ciders, liqueurs, strong strength, uh, lower strength beers, uh, cider and wine. Uh, there are proposals in uh, at the moment for extending the principle of small brewers relief to include small cider makers and makers of alcoholic drinks with a strength of less than 8%, uh, which is really helpful for small businesses, small brewers who uh, are, are becoming quite a... Um, a task force as we speak in the UK at the present. Um, so they are ending the duty premium of 28% on sparkling wines, which will instead pay the same duty as still wines uh, of equivalent strength. So it's a it's a better way of looking at it because you can it's more common sense in, in all essence, you know, when you when you actually balance it on strength of alcohol, it makes it, it does make sense. Uh, duty on draft beer and cider will be cut by, by 5%, uh, which is the biggest cut to beer duty for over 50 years. Now, there is also confirmed plans by the Chancellor to increase the national minimum wage by about 6.6%, .6%, which takes it to £9.50 an hour. Uh, so there's a lot going on in the budget uh, but it, it is that helpful. It is relieving pressure. Um, and also we have uh, the inflation of energy that's currently going on and warns of pressure caused by energy prices and supply chains. Challenges will take months to uh, ease. So the economy is forecast to return to pre-COVID levels at the end of the year earlier than predicted, as far as the Chancellor uh, is saying. 
So the looking at a growth revised from 4% to 6.5% and the economy forecast to grow by 6% in 2022, which is a massive. Um, there was no mention, however, and a lot of businesses have been asking this about a freeze in the VAT uh, rates. There, there was hope for the sector that that would happen and it hasn't followed through. Um, so at the, at the moment, we, we are maintaining the 12.5% VAT for the sector um, and fingers crossed that uh, it won't uh, plan the increase next year, but it does look like that's going to happen. So I hope that's helped. Uh, there are lots going on in the budget. Please, you know, keep it, keep speaking to your accountant, keep asking them to keep you up to date with the current um, issues uh, with regard to the budget and how to help and support you. Put your plans and strategy in place so that you are maintaining your updates and your speed uh, with regard to your teams. The communication is vital right now uh, so that you can help and support your your team to understand those measures as well and put plans in place have a plan b c and actually have that communication with your customers as well which is vitally important because they need to know what's going on the more you communicate with your customers the better your business will be able to manage for the future uh, because they'll all understand where you are what you're doing and how you're uh, dealing with the current situation so i hope that has helped and now I want to quickly talk about some some things that have happened this week, uh, which has put a lot of small businesses in a flat spin. Small businesses like cafes, uh, small restaurants, small businesses who rely on uh, the big companies like Breaks and uh, Booker's to supply the food and drinks and other elements, sundries, etc. It has been said by a number of businesses that because they are too small for the accounts and because the large companies uh, are really, the large wholesale companies are really struggling to cater uh, for the small businesses because they've got larger accounts as well. And it makes sense uh, for them to obviously concentrate on the larger customers. But the, because of the haulage issue, the transportation of being able to supply the smaller companies as well, uh, some businesses in that sector have actually had the accounts frozen or cut uh, due to the current issues going on in the supply chain. That's really put some small businesses in a flat spin and they've reached out, thank goodness, and asked for help. The plan and strategy that I would definitely say is, first of all, communicate to your uh, account managers and ask, is this something that is looking like it's going to happen? This is not here to frighten you or upset you. This is here to help and support you. If your account manager feels that it is on the agenda that you're going to be, uh, your account is going to be cut, and what I would suggest you do is look for the next plan in action. The one thing that has not been impacted with regard to shutting down throughout the whole pandemic is the supermarket. So if you cannot find a local supplier in your area for the goods and services that you're looking to serve with regard to your uh, business, then I would definitely look for food and drink uh, at the supermarkets. If you're finding that you can't get certain ingredients because it's become really difficult, then have a look at changing your menu. Communicate with your customers and, and come up with some different ideas, come up with some different strategies, come up with some different plans. Cut down your menu. Your menu doesn't have to be massive, but do whatever you do, do it well. And, and obviously, you know, look at ways in where you can streamline your business to help and support you and your business, your team, and of, obviously uh, serve your guests to the best and, you know, to the best that you can. Um, I hope that's helped. If you've got any questions on any of the items today, please uh, put a message in the chat or uh, message me directly or email me alison at ajlakes.com. Hope that's helped. Have a great Friday. Happy weekend and take care. Thank you. Bye bye.